Beautiful painting today by Ewan McDougall. Um, I've been very attracted to this work because it's so bright and colourful. Uh, this particular painting is called Shaken All Over and whilst it does look quite cheerful, there's a slightly darker side to it. Um, Ewan McDougall draws on his personal experiences and he was in a, in a band in the heady hippie 60s and 70s, sort of a Jimi Hendrix type of thing. Uh, they used to do a fair bit of drinking and drugging and um, this depicts the shaking that you have when you're excited and then the shaking that you have when you've had a bit too much and you've got that excess, sort of that hangover feeling the next day. Mm. So um, it's quite interesting. He, he uses lots of, lots of oils but and But do blobs. you think there is an immaturity about the structure of the characters? There? I don't. You will, may be able to see there, there's a wee inscription there saying, my six-year-old could do this or could oh. do better. And that's, a lot of criticism has come his way of people saying, oh, you know, my kid could have done this. Yeah. Yeah. But um, he was inspired to draw these faces after, to paint these faces rather, after a drawing that his four-year-old did. And he's just taken on that kind of template as his trademark. Okay. Yeah, and the rest of the exhibition, which I'm, I'll talk about as well, um, de all deals with those sorts of faces. And when you see a whole group of them, they do really take on a template and a, you know, that, that uniqueness that he... Mm. He, um, so we've got some more of them. To yes, see we have. Yeah. Um, this exhibition is called Too Much of a Good Thing, and uh, the first one we've got here is called Last Smoko at Burnside Three. Um, this depicts the meatworks and the workers in the meatworks who used to get very drunk at morning tea time to try and overcome the boredom and indeed the horror of what they were doing. The blue bits there are the carcass and the red is obviously the blood. Um, McDougall used to work in the, in the meatworks as a holiday job. <laughs> so again, it looks like quite a jumpy, happy piece and it's really quite dark. This one here is really interesting. It's called In the Clear Light. Um, the freakish faces are actually McDougall's remembrance of a trip, a bad trip he had when he uh, took LSD called Clear Light. And those are the kind of freakish... It wasn't a trip to Omaru. No, this no, was a it was a trip the... inside his own brain and yeah. goodness knows what else. And the third one we've got is one of the few political pieces he's done and this is called Rain Dance, Waiting for the Recovery 3. And it has a tribal feel. Um, it represents waiting for change for the Waitangi Tribunal. Mm. Right, Waitangi Treaty, rather. Oh, yeah, I can yeah. imagine a lot of these, surrounded by a lot of these. Mm. They yeah, are really yeah. beautiful and interesting. He uses um, really thick paint and uses a butter knife to sort of spread it over and lots of blobs and great, great. big So he's on where? Colour. He's on at the Oedipus Rex Gallery in Lawn Street until April 10th. But you can also see work of his in the Salamander Gallery in Christchurch, the Morrie Gallery in Dunedin and the Christopher Moore Gallery in Wellington. Cool.